Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all had a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> First video of 2021, I wanna talk about what is in my camera bag. Uh, so let's start with the back. We have the Douchebags Backpack Pro. Yeah, the name of the brand is Douchebags. I actually really like all of their products. They make some great stuff. Um, on the front of the bag, we have the Peak Design Clip, um, which is great for when you wanna throw your camera on there and use both your hands. Let's talk about this thing here. This is the Garmin and Reach. This is normally in the helicopter, but right now it's on my backpack because I brought it home to charge it. Turn this thing around, get it opened up. Let's talk about over here first. Open this up. We have a spare battery and a quarter or a dime. Like, no, a nickel. <laughs> we have a nickel for adjusting um, plates on cameras. Then we got the Peak Design camera strap. I don't really use this too often. The main thing I use this for was when I'm trying to shoot B-roll and I need all the help I can get because my hands are really shaky. So I'll put it on, stretch it out and try to hold the camera out like this. These are backpack straps for this. So this insert comes out and you can put these on it. So you can wear this as just a backpack or carry it it's got a couple handles on it. And I, it also can attach to the back of the backpack using these, these straps right here. Um, that's really neat, really nice if you're traveling and you wanna put like clothes and your whatever else inside of here. And once you get to your hotel, you clean all that stuff out, you can put this back in there. Just kinda nice to be able to travel uh, with only one bag. I guess that'd be two bags, but you get the point. All right, next pocket. The only thing I got in here is a rain shield for the cameras. I live in Arizona, Southern Arizona. <laughs> we get like hardly any rain a year. I really don't know why I carry this around with me. I've used it like once, but I guess better to be prepared. <laughs> um, so now let's move into the inside of the bag. Yeah, oh, no. Yeah, there we go, okay. We have our main mic, which is the VideoMic Pro Plus. I really like this mic. The main reason why I like this mic so much is because it turns on and off automatically with the camera. I had the previous version and the amount of times that I would forget to turn the damn mic on, it's too damn high. We also have the top handle for the cage that is on my A7S III, which I'm filming on right now. It can't fit the whole camera and cage inside with the top handle on it. Uh, this takes off, comes on and off really easily. So a lot of times I don't really want it, but if I'm filming B-roll or doing something different, I like to have the handle with me. Let's open this up. This is where all the goods are. So in here, normally I have my two cameras right here, which is up here we have the uh, A7R3 and over there we have the A7S3. Primarily I have the 16 to 35 on the S3 for filming vlogs and whatever else, or shooting pictures inside the helicopter. I love this lens, by far my most used lens. I have the 2.8 version, I had the F4 version, upgraded to this one probably about a year ago. I highly recommend this lens. Then we got the 24 to 70 G Master. I recently just got this lens. Originally I was using the 24 to 105 F4 version and um, I never really used anything past the 70 millimeter anyways, and I wanted something for a little bit better low light combined with the low light capabilities of the S3. So I kind of, uh, I made the upgrade and I'm really happy I did. Great lens, haven't got to use it a whole lot, but I've been really happy with it. In here we got a couple of action cameras. Now if you've seen any of the videos, you know what these are for, these are in my helicopter mainly for like filming me and filming out the front when I'm flying. This is the DJI Osmo. I really like this camera. I've never had any problems with it turning on and off. Unlike GoPros, these damn things come on and off just whenever they feel like it. It's been a really big problem because when you're flying, you don't have time, you don't have the ability to be making sure the cameras are on. You wanna just hit record, forget about it, and be able to review the footage later. So GoPros, for whatever reason, never seem to work right. This has yet to fail me. And then we got the 85 millimeter, millimeter f1.4. Great lens, um, really big, really heavy. Not as bad as like Sigma lenses, but it's still pretty damn big. Great B-roll lens. 
I also put UV filters on every single lens. Um, I figured I'd rather trash an $80 UV filter than a several thousand dollar lens if I ever scratch it or something happens to it. So UV filters on every single lens, um, just to keep them protected. Then we got the 24 millimeter f1.4, great lens for like everything pretty much. Talking head, B-roll, whatever you want to use, this is a great lens and it's really lightweight. So solid lens. Then we got some Polar Pro Peter McKinnon filters. So I got two, two to five stops and one six to nine. The first one was vignetting at 16 millimeters really bad and I emailed them about it and they're like, yeah, we've had a, there was a bad batch of a few. So we're just gonna send you a new one, but you can keep the old one, which is nice because past like 24, you don't see any vignetting. So it's great for like on the 85. And I buy all my filters uh, at 82 millimeter and then I use step up rings. That way, no matter what I use, I can always fit a filter to it. And those are all in here. Let's talk about what's in here. We have step foot filters, some lens caps, an additional UV filter and some microfiber cloths, spare GoPro batteries and some tools for like adjusting plates on the bottom of cameras. And then we got the Aperture MC light. Zoe actually got me this for Christmas. Really bright and I love the fact that it is RGB so you can do whatever color you want. Solid for putting in like the background of videos. They got all sorts of like, let's get rid of that, that's annoying. Effects, like that was obviously police car. Turn that back off, put it away. Nice little light to have. Lens pen, so I don't have to use my grubby fingers to get everything off of the lens. Audio cable for the mic. And I think that's kind of it. That's basically what my camera bag in 2021 is gonna look like. It'll change. I'm sure there'll be a few things that I'll add or take out. Maybe that raincoat I'll take out since I've only used that thing once or twice since I've had it. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop them below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.